Hi, my name is Mark Hilbert, and I'm with the Hilbert Museum of California Art here in the city of Orange. And we have a new show called Out of the West, and it's a show of artists that were in collections that traveled to the East Coast. And it was a term that the newspapers and writers talked about when they were talking about paintings from California. They just, at that time, said, these are examples of paintings out of the West. And what we've tried to do is, is capture 20 artists, and we tried to pick out some of their best paintings to represent that group of artists. The very first painting that we have is a painting here by Miller Sheets. And this painting is called Abandon, and it has to do with a time when the dam was built, the Prado Dam, not too far from here in the Chino Hills. And it was covering up a bunch of properties. And Millard went down to paint that farm because soon it would be covered up with water. And so what you see is, uh, is the farm, the windmill. Uh, you see the horses that, of course, are concerned because they see the water coming down, filling up the dam. And it's just kind of a dramatic uh, moment. This particular painting went to the Chicago Art Institute in 1937 and was uh, named a gold medal winner at that exhibition of uh, over 2,000 paintings, so it was quite an important piece. This painting is called San Jacinto, On the Road to San Jacinto by Rex Brandt, and it was done in 1938. And I love this painting for a number of reasons. I love this beautiful reddish sky, rust-colored sky. I love this kind of lime green uh, grassy area here. I love the way this kind of undulates, and it's almost like a figure eight, kind of moves your eye around the painting. And I think it's a, a really good example of California scene painting, meaning that it's a scene of California, of everyday life in California. This painting is by Ralph Hewlett, 1957, and it's called Crest of the Hill. And I think it, uh, captures the downtown area of Los Angeles just before it was going to be totally redone. And this is what they call Bunker Hill, which is now basically gone. It's all a bunch of skyscrapers now. And artists went down and painted Bunker Hill because they wanted to document what the area looked like before they started uh, building it up. I think Ralph did a beautiful job of capturing the downtown area walls and the sh shadows and the old houses, yet you see some of the skyscrapers are kind of like encroaching the area, so you kind of get a sense of what's coming. After they bulldozed this down, uh, if you were to go down there today, it'd be nothing but skyscrapers on both sides of the street. All of this is gone, but you see it's all been redone into a totally modern city. This is a Rex Brand painting, and it's called Corral by the Sea, and it was painted in the 60s along the Newport coast, what we now know as Crystal Cove. In those days, they had a uh, horse stables, and they were able to ride horses on the beach if you wanted. But Rex did this particular painting in a little bit more modern style. He divided up the composition into these uh, vertical strips which gives it a little bit different take on uh, the way it looks. He also shortened the, the plane, or compressed the painting somewhat in a more modern style. This painting is by Miller Sheets, and it depicts the Mendocino coast. And it's done in a very unusual style. The, the horizon line is very high and I love the way Millard captures the water in these little channels here where you can see the undulation of the uh, ocean as it breaks over the rocks. And then you have this interesting barn located along the coast. And I've always thought, gee, these horses that stay in this barn must have, uh, have one of the best views around. 